so guys it's really simple this is our default cube select the cube tap to edit mode press 1 for vertex selection enable auto merge vertices press on a to select everything press on s to scale then press on 0 to merge all the vertices single left click now we can disable auto merge vertices so now we have a single vertex press numpad 1 for front view select the vertex press e to extrude then press on z to extrude on z axis only single left click done ctrl plus r to add loop cut then scroll the middle mouse to add more loop cuts i think it's enough now just select arbitrary vertex point press e to extrude let's extrude it let's add some loop cuts to our branches ctrl plus r single left click ctrl plus r single left click ctrl plus r single left click now select all the middle vertices except the start one and the end one now ctrl plus g assign to new group go to object data properties this is our group let's name it electricity we are done with our shape tap to object mode select the object go to modifier tab then search for displace then click on new now click on this button then select the cloud from here we cannot able to see any displacement at the middle part go to modifier tab again the displacement happening along normal so it's confused let's change it to x seems like everything is okay let's go to texture again let's decrease the size go back to modifier tab 0.5 let's control the thunder shift plus a empty let's add a empty let's bring it here name it electricity controller elc controller now select the object again go to modifier tab then under displacement change the coordinate from local to object then select the electricity controller now if we select the empty and change the position we can control the electricity animation now the displacement only happening on x axis if we move around see no displacement so for that we need to duplicate our displace modifier select the displace modifier shift plus d to duplicate now expand it and change the direction from x to y nice now select the object again press on numpad one for front view let's click on somewhere else So guys as you can see that the start and the end point of the thunder position is changed because the displacement modifier affecting the whole object. Suppose you want displacement modifier to affect only the middle parts. So for that select the object, go to modifier tab, vertex group, select electricity. Go back to the first one, same, select electricity. See the position is changed. Now we can move around and it will stay where it is. Now let's select the thunder object again, go to modifier tab, then search for skin modifier. Now we have body for our thunder, click on shade smoothing, tap to edit mode, press 1 or vertex selection, select everything or press A, control plus A to scale, control plus A. Now move the mouse, single left click done let's narrow down the thunder heads so for that let's enable proportional editing enable extreme mode select the upper vertex press ctrl plus a to scale not s control the proportional editing area of effect by the scroll bar of the middle mouse now press on ctrl plus a to scale single left click now let's do it for others single left click select ctrl plus a tap to object mode now let's add material for it select the object go to material tab click on the plus icon to add new material then click on new let's name it electricity now go to shading tab so this is what we have so far click on add then search for texture coordinate then search for vector math then search for math object to vector math change from add to length 
connect the length output to the math node let's change it to greater than connect the output with the principal bsdf base color with this three node we can able to control the thunder growth like this by changing the threshold if we select our object this is our origin point it's work from the origin point if we change the origin point for our object so the origin point is now here let's change it to middle object set origin point to origin to geometry let's see what happens see see now the black area is spreading from the middle or the origin point of the object select the object object set origin point to 3d cursor now disconnect it from the principal bsdf and connect it to the alpha now go to material tab again scroll down change blend mode from opaque to alpha blend show back phase off and the shadow mode change from opaque to none because it's thunder let's change the threshold value and see what happens seems like it's going backward so just change from greater than to less than now it's working fine let's change the emission color to the blue or the thunder color you want let's change the emission strength to like 10 to 20 then go to render properties and check bloom let's see what we have so far let's go to render preview let's change the emission color to other color and see now to control the full object transparency let's give it some space add mix shader transparent bsdf connect the principal output to the mix shader and the transparent bsdf and the mix shader output to the material output surface now we can able to control the full object opacity here as you can see now click on the electricity controller empty and then hold control and select the thunder or our cube here control plus p to parent them keep transform now the last part how to animate it's really simple go to animation tab render preview go to left side click on this button shader editor press on n scroll let's first animate the thunder ripple so for that select the empty go to first frame press on i then the location to insert location keyframe for our empty let's change the position to like 100 let's move it up press on i again then insert another keyframe then select both of them right click interpolation linear let's see what we have let's add thunder grow animation go to first frame then select the object go to left side go to less than node or the math node change the threshold to zero move your cursor to the threshold area right click insert keyframe if you cannot able to see the keyframe just click on this button here is our electricity material keyframe let's move to frame number 10 move the threshold below up seems like 3.6 right click insert keyframe let's move to 12 change it back to 0 right click insert keyframe let's copy them Control V paste let's change the in frame to like 45 let's see what we have so far so guys mix shader is to control the whole object opacity and to control the growth of the thunder this math node threshold and to control the ripple this empty and if you want you can change the object position too it will not affect anything as so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial